Palace having all the possession earlier on. Two minutes in, and I'm not really sure if Andrew had much of a to the ball. Cobble Jade Haynes, he go wide for Sibley. There are players in the area, it's played all the way across and jabbed and blocked already. That was desperate defending there. Jody Bartle shot again, and that will go wide. But there is the danger of Crystal Palace. Anna Philby now. Anna Philby has a lot of space and she will find Molly May Sharp. That pass over round slightly. And Annabelle Blanchard is offside. <laughs> there is a ball through for Izzy Sibley. Down behind Alana Mann. And she's in behind again and she gets the cross in. And there's no Palace player there. Once again, Molly May Sharp will play this across. Has to be 1-0. Oh, that's a heck of a miss from Annabelle Blanchard there. That is one of those misses where you look at it and genuinely go, how? Katie Hall as well. Katie Morris breaks through the centre of midfield. She has Misha Dudley-Jones ahead of her and Misha Dudley-Jones... Manages to get to the ball, she's forced a bit wide, but Simran Jamak going to the back post. And Dudley Jones will strike this, Frank Kitching has to save. Pass it again. Philby, that's a good ball through for Philby, and Molly makes sharp, and that will be 1-0. And that diagonal ball through the channels, once again, finally bears fruit for Crystal Palace. It was beautifully played through. Hughes now though, that's a good ball from Hughes to Annabelle Blanchard and Blanchard will shoot and Blanchard makes it 2-0, 63 minutes gone and she could have had a hat check already this evening Annabelle Blanchard but finally gets her first goal for Crystal Palace. There's a head of Werner, it's free again and that one will go up and over. Blanchard again, she will find space on the edge of the area, faced by Hayley Hall, makes a shot, good save and it's 3-0 the easiest of finishes for Elise Hughes there Jodie Whiteman can't hold Annabelle Blanchard's shot and Elise Hughes from all of about 6 feet puts the tin lid on proceedings 